Alright, so in today's tutorial, we'll be talking about set theory and we'll be looking at representation of sets using brain diagrams and we'll solve some complex questions in set theory. Alright, we have a very complex question in the board. It says, in a class with 80 students, 40 students passed mathematics, 45 passed chemistry, 30 passed biology, 20 passed both mathematics and chemistry, 12 passed mathematics and biology, 8 passed biology and chemistry, and if 3 students did not pass any of the subjects, how many students passed all the 3 subjects? That's the question we have on the board. So let's solve this question. The first thing we do in set theory, representation of set using Venn diagram, is to represent our subset. Now we have 3 subsets. These subsets are the events. The subsets are chemistry, mathematics, and biology. So we represent the subsets. To every question, there's a solution. So we start the solution. We start. Let B represent. Let B represent biology. Let B represent biology. Let C represent chemistry and let M represent maths. So wherever we see wherever we see B it represents biology, wherever we see C it represents chemistry, wherever we see M it represents maths. So after representing our subset we represent the parameters in the question. In the question, they said in a science class with 80 students. So our universal set, the universal set is 80. The universal set is 80, and they said 40 students passed mathematics. So the number of students that passed mathematics, number of students that passed mathematics is 40. 40 students passed mathematics, 45 passed chemistry. The number of students that passed chemistry is 45. 45 passed chemistry. 30 passed biology. The number of students that passed biology is 30. 30 students passed biology. And they said 20 passed both mathematics and chemistry. So the number of students that passed both mathematics and chemistry, the number of students that passed both mathematics and chemistry is 20. 20 students passed both mathematics and chemistry. 12, 12 students passed mathematics and biology. So 12 passed mathematics and biology. The number of students that passed mathematics and biology is 12. We'll proceed. 8 passed both biology and chemistry. So the number of students that passed both biology and chemistry is 8. We've represented the various um, values in the question. And they said if three students did not pass any of the subjects. So the number of students that did not pass any of the subjects, biology and chemistry and maths, crime, the number of students that did not pass any of the subjects is three. Since three students did not pass any of the subjects, and they said we should calculate how many students passed the three subjects. So what we are looking for is the number of students that passed biology and chemistry and maths and this is equal to x that's what we're looking for now in solving questions involving set theory that has to do with brain diagrams after representing this we we'll have to represent these various values in our brain diagrams since we have three events three subjects we have we're going to draw three subsets now let's draw our brain diagram our Venn diagram is going to have a universal set. It's going to have a universal set. Our Venn diagram will have a universal set. And we're going to have three subsets inside our universal set. So we'll have subset one, subset two, and subset three. These are the three subsets. Now, this is for biology, this is for chemistry, and this other subset is for math. The number of students that, from the question, the number of students that study biology is 30. The number of students that study biology is 30. The number of students that studied chemistry 
is 45. 45 students studied chemistry, and the number of students that studied math is 40. So we have the number of students that studied the various courses. And our universal set, our universal set is 80. 80 students is the total number of students that offer these three courses. Now, in filling our Venn diagram, you must start from the number of students that offer the three events. Now, the number of students that offered all three courses is X. This is what we're looking for. So we write here as X. The number of students that offered the three courses is X. Now, we proceed. The number of students that offered biology and chemistry is 8. The number of students that offered biology and chemistry is 8. But to represent it in this Venn diagram, it's going to be 8 minus X. 8 minus X. 8 minus X. That's what's going to be here. The number of students that offered biology and chemistry. The number of students that offered math and biology is 12. Math and biology is 12. So here is going to be 12 minus x. 12 minus x. And the number of students that offered math and chemistry is 20. So this is going to be 20 minus x. You're minusing from x because x is the number of students that offered the three subjects. So after doing this, we are looking for the number of students that will offer maths only, M prime, M prime. So we present the number of students that offered maths only, C prime, represent the number of students that offered chemistry only, and B prime, represent the number of students that offered biology only. So we we'll start. We'll start with this particular subset. If you want to tackle questions involving Venn diagram, you take it subset by subset. So we'll take this subset, we'll start with for biology only. For biology only. Now I want to know the number of students that offer biology only. For biology only, I'm going to consider this subset of biology, which is B prime plus 8 minus x plus 8 minus x plus x plus x plus 12 minus x plus 12 minus x everything will be equated to 30 which is the number of students that study biology is equal to 30 now from this part minus x will take off plus x so that i'm going to be left with b prime b prime represents the number of students that offer biology only plus 8 plus 12 minus x is equal to 30. My aim is to make b prime subject of the what formula because I'm looking for the number of students that offer biology only. So this b prime is plus 12 plus 8 is 20 minus x is equal to 30. At this point, I have b prime is equal to 30 minus 20 plus x. So I have b prime is equal to 10 plus x. So b prime is the number of students that offer biology only is equal to 10 plus x. So the number of students that offer biology only is 10 plus what? x. I'm going to put this in a box. 10 plus x is the number of students that offer biology only. Now I'll proceed to the next one. For chemistry only, 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 the number of students that offer chemistry only, this is going to be C prime, C prime, and considering everything in the subset of chemistry, C prime plus 8 minus x plus x plus 12 minus x is equal to the number of students that offer chemistry, which is 45. At this point, minus x will take off plus x. So I'm left with c prime plus 8 plus 12 minus x is equal to 45. At this point, I have c prime plus, remember, our aim is to make c prime subject of the formula. c prime subject of the formula. c prime plus 20 minus x is equal to 45. So at this point, if you move everything to the right hand side, we have the sign is going to change. So C prime is equal to 45 minus 20 plus x. 
So I have that C prime is equal to 45 minus 20 is going to give me 25. So I have 25 plus X. 25 plus X is the number of students that offer chemistry only. So 25 plus X is the number of students that offer chemistry only. Now proceed. The number of students that offer maths only. Maths only. You, I will cut it. Okay. okay, for chemistry only, for chemistry only, for chemistry only, for chemistry only, this is C prime. We are considering what is in the subset of chemistry, which is C prime plus H minus X plus X plus 20 minus X is equal to 45. So, for chemistry only is going to be C prime plus 8 minus X plus X plus 20 minus X is equal to 45. So our aim is to make C prime subject of formula. C prime represents chemistry only. So C prime plus minus X to take off plus X, 8 plus 20 minus x is equal to 45. At this point, c prime is plus 20 plus 8 is 28 minus x is equal to 45. So finally we have that c prime is equal to 45 minus 28 plus x. So c prime is equal to 45 minus 28 will give me 17. 17 is going to give me, is going to give me 17. 17 plus plus x. So c prime is equal to 17 plus x. That's my c prime. 17 plus x. That's the number of students that offer chemistry only is 17 plus x. Now go back to the number of students that offered maths only. So for for maths only, for maths only, for maths only, I'm going to consider what is in the subset of maths. M prime plus 20 minus x plus x plus 12 minus x is equal to 40. So this is going to give me M prime plus 20 minus x plus x plus 12 minus x is equal to 40. At this point, minus x to take off plus x, so I have that m prime plus 20 plus 20 plus 12 minus x is equal to 40. Now, finally, we have that m prime, which is the number of students that offered math only, 20 plus 12 is going to give me 32 minus x is equal to 40. So finally, making m prime subject of formula, 40 minus 32 plus x, which is going to give me 8 plus x. So the number of students that offered maths only is 8 plus x. The number of students that offered chemistry only is 17 plus x. And the number of students that offered biology only. So finally, to get the number of students that offered the three courses, we are going to add everything inside the subset. We add everything inside the subset and we equate it to the universal set. Remember, a universal set is 80. So, finally, finally, to get the final answer, to get the number of students that offer the three subjects is going to be M prime plus B prime plus C prime plus 20 minus x plus 12 minus x plus 8 minus x and everything inside this subset is equal to the universal set which is 80. So finally my m prime is 8 plus x plus my b prime What's the B prime? B prime is what? Please check. I'm going to repeat this part. You're, you're covering the... 10 plus X. 
plus C prime, C prime, my C prime is 17 plus X plus 20 minus X plus 12 minus X plus 8 minus X is equal to 80. Now at this point, you expect to take it gently when you can't win out X. Now, minus X will take off plus X. Minus X will take off another plus X. Minus X will take off plus X. So, finally, I'm left with just one X. This is M prime, 8 plus X. B prime, 10 plus X. C prime, 17 plus X. 20 minus X, 12 minus X, 8 plus X is equal to 80. Now, we're going to add the X. This X is the number of students that offered all courses. So I'm left with, finally, 8 plus 10 plus 17 plus 20 plus 12 plus 8 plus this X is the number of students that offered the three courses. is equal to the universal set. 8 plus 10 is 18 plus 17. 18 plus 17 is 35. 35 plus 20 is 55. 55 plus 55 plus 20. 55 plus 20 is going to give me 75. 75 plus x is equal to 80. So finally I have 75 plus x is equal to 80. And my x is equal to 80 minus 75. And x is equal to 5. So it means the number of students that offer the three courses are 5. Now, since I know the number of students that offer the three courses, which is biology, chemistry, and maths, are five students. Now, how many students offered chemistry only? To get the number of students that offered chemistry only, it will be 17 plus, my x is five, and this is going to give me 22. The number of students that offered maths only is eight plus five, because my x is five, and it's going to give me 13. So 13 students offered mathematics only. And the same thing too, for biology only, 10 plus 5, which is 15, students offered biology only. So, after doing this, we will redraw our Venn diagram. I know that the number of students that offer the three subjects is 5. The number of students that offer maths only, maths only, is 13. The number of students that offered chemistry only is 22. The number of students that offered biology only is 15. The number of students that offered biology and maths will be 12 minus x. And 12 minus x, our x is 5. Our x is 5 in our calculation. So 12 minus 5 is going to give me 7. 8 minus 5, the number of students that offer biology and chemistry, 8 minus 5 is 3. And the number of students that offer chemistry and maths, 20 minus 5, which is 15. So after doing your calculation, you redraw your Venn diagram. And that's how you attempt set questions. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get more notifications on more tutorial videos. Thank you.